Samuel and I've come um, from Bristol to um, basically talk about um, the last 10 years of campaigning um, that I've learned incredible lessons from um, and really just sort of um, exploring what it means to be an authentic leader and you know it's very easy to, to jump into wanting to make a difference um, and really sort of trying to unpick what is it that makes us an authentic leader, what is it that allows us to make a real difference in the world. So I spent um, many years campaigning around the kind of causes of, of injustice, the causes of poverty um, and realized that you know I'd become um, very angry and very negative that you know that my energy was being spent all all on the nose and what, all what I was against um, and there was a lot of blame um, but it wasn't you know looking at what are my yeses what does the world I want to live in look like what does the world I want to be part of creating look like um, and what do I need what changes do I need to make within myself to start helping create that world because every time um, I make a decision that, that doesn't look like the world I want to be part of, I'm just playing out that pattern, I'm just part of the, the problem. So um, for me it was really important to, to shift my energy so that as well as um, really exposing what the causes um, of, of the big challenges that we face are, um, it was also you know, really important for me to be really engaged um, in the solutions, um, not least to inspire people to want to get involved because if all you're talking about what the problem is and how screwed up our, our world is, um, you're very un unlikely to inspire other people to get involved because they're just going to feel A, rubbish about themselves and B, that, that, you know, that life is just going to be one big angry <laughs> mess. I feel like the, the journey that I've been on has really allowed me to, um, to get a good understanding, I guess, of, um, of what makes us effective in a way that um, we need to look at our inner world. Um, we, can't, we can't just go out there and expect that acting in the world is going to make a, a difference um, instantly because we have to recognize that you know, we play a huge role in the world that, that we're trying to change. And unless we actually look at um, our role in that, and, um, and you know, we're going to end up acting out a lot of the, the turmoil that exists within us. Um, and the reality is, is that we live in a world whereby um, we've been, our feelings have been suppressed. Um, we've been taught that it's not safe to feel. Um, and as a result of that, um, what we see is that a lot of these emotions flying out all over the place. Um, and rather than a lot of the social change being effective, it just ends up alienating us um, and creating a kind of them and us scenario um, where people feel um, either scapegoated um, or, or helpless. Um, and I think also, um, for me, one of the really important things that I, I want to talk about um, in terms of authentic leadership is, is connection and just realizing that unless we're connected to something much bigger than ourselves, or we feel, unless we feel that sense of connection with something much bigger than ourselves, um, which comes from spending time in nature, which comes from connecting with our bodies rather than just our minds, um, then then being an authentic leader is very difficult because we're coming just from our heads um, and we're really you know, not connected with the impact um, and connection that we have um, in a much greater sense. So, um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of unpickings in terms of what makes that authentic leadership and, um, and yeah, for me it is about the emotional, emotional intelligence, um, a willingness to feel um, and a, a sense of collaborative power rather than a hierarchical dominant power. Thank you very much. One more time for Claire Milne. That was excellent. Next week we have got the one and only Joseph Davis Coates, the legendary oracle, really, the oracle of all knowledge when it comes to uh, creating cooperative, sustainable, collaborative community. So forget about television. Forget about going down the pub because you can go there anytime. And actually, you can go down the pub and come to Mango Landing and see Joseph Davis Coates and find out how we're going to get together and work it all out, as the song lyrics say.